Hey guys, Chef Spalding back with another video. Today we are in Quanchkin, going after the alligator gar. I'm in one location that does pretty well with them. I'm using a heavy chaser 59 pound setup with a 6 out hook and a shiner. I've got two locations I primarily use for gar over here. It's this side and another, the next place we'll go after we pull this one in. I'm fishing at night. You can fish for these at day, but I find nighttime I usually get a quicker bite. Not always. But if you're trying to do the 44 pound alligator gar, you can see that's just a little bit under. Uh, this is a good place to find them. Bring everything in and head over to the next spot. Uh, if you spawn in the bottom right section, and I'll show you on the map, as soon as we get these in, I'll show you where I'm at, where I'm pointed at, and why I fish here. It's actually in between two catfish holes. I have another video on my YouTube about the cat two catfish holes over here. You can catch the blue cats, channel cats, and flatheads. So on the map, you will spawn in at the bottom right section. If you pull your map up, it be your top left. If you pull up your location, it's going to be over here at Swampy Open. You're going to go straight out to the farthest point, turn left, and set your rod stand down. You're going to cast 95 feet out to the left of the tree in the middle of the screen. There is a little spot in the middle of the two catfish holes right in front where the guy the gar primarily like to sit you can fish this area i'd say 95 to 80 feet in there and around that journal area itself and do pretty well since the titanium leader came out it has slowed down a lot the bite rate on them if you decide to use the fluoro line and want to risk losing your line go for it they tend to hit a lot quicker on it but you run the chance of losing more fish by doing that. And if you're over here to try to complete the mission to get the zombie bait to go for the catfish, I suggest just wait it out and use the titanium setup. Next place we're going to go is down south. It is not the top right, but the one one end to the left of it. I'm going to spawn in, go to the left, and go all the way out to this point. As far as you can go, you can't go all the way over here, you're sitting in bushes. Sit up at the point, and I'm going to put my rod stand out as far as it'll go to the edge of the water. And I'm going to be casting straight out. During the day, with this cypress tree right here, you'll see that there's a shadow in this area. You'll be casting right to the bottom of the shadow of the tree, in between the trees that's casting down on here. From where I'm standing, that's going to be <clears throat> 100 feet out. There are two other locations that I like to fish over here. It's over here at the weed line on the right, and another one to the left in the middle of this hole. That's for when I'm over here just hanging out, just gar fishing for the day, not primarily going for XP or money or anything, just kind of chilling. You notice that the water is extremely shallow in this entire area except for the couple holes that are here. It's about two feet all the way across, some some a little higher, some a little lower. There are spots to get up to a foot. But this spot seems to be pretty good for the gar itself. So you can see I don't even have my four rods out yet and I'm already getting a hit. If you have any questions or comments please put it down below if you would like to see me live stream i run on twitch find me at chef spalding make sure to hit that follow button turn your notifications on see when i pop on i fish or i stream fishing plan a few times a week um, if i'm not on that day i'll be on the next day if you see me play another game and you're just having a hard time and you need help finding a certain fish Feel free to pop in, ask any questions, 
If I'm in the middle of something, I will try to get over as soon as possible to show you how to do it. Other than that, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed.